Welcome September! August is now over, so it's that time of the month where we take a look at all of the best Platinum trophies that came out for the month of August. Now, if you want to see the easiest Platinum trophies that came out for the month of August, I think you can click up here or in the link down in the description below. I published that video earlier today looking at the six easiest games, but this is the six best games. These are six Platinum trophies that you're going to be more proud to have on your trophy list. These ones wouldn't have involved a good, nice, clean shower afterwards. These ones here are awesome trophies that you should be striving to earn. Let's take a look at five of the best Platinum trophies you could have earned for the month of August 2020. Let's have a look. Now first up on the list is Fall Guys, and I was kind of reluctant to put this on the list. The reason I have done is because of just the phenomenon that Fall Guys has become over the past month or so, going from a game we didn't know anything about to literally the most played game on the PlayStation 4 platform this year. Trophy wise, this one is a bit of a jank. Now I did a guide and roadmap for this earlier in the month and I said it was a 9 out of 10. I've kind of pulled back on that a little bit after seeing how many people have earned the infallible trophy. Uh, and now it's more like an 8 out of 10 and probably about 60 hours to platinum in my personal opinion. If you guys have been living under a rock for the entire month of August, Fall Guys has a trophy in it called Infallible which is for winning 5 episodes. And there is a ton of randomness and skill involved with earning that trophy. Thankfully we've found glitches that allow us to make it easier for ourselves to get around that. And I think it is going to become easier over time. The trophy is really jank and it, it kind of becomes a contender for a trophy list that sucks. But I guess just given the popularity of Fall Guys, I, I kind of have to include it on this list because it's just such an enormous game and it's such an important game for 2020 and, and August this month as well. Next up we have a game which I had so much fun with called Mortal Shell. Now this is essentially an indie version of Dark Souls that came out this month as well. This one literally came out of nowhere. I was looking at it on PSN profiles one day and then suddenly it just came out and I realized, wow, this thing is amazing. It's probably the highest quality Dark Souls-like game I've played from an indie developer. There have been heaps of these type of Souls games, but this is the only one I can confidently say where they have put in so much love, care, and effort into this game. Platinum wise, it's, it's about on par with a Dark Souls game, just a bit shorter. It's gonna take you around 25 to 30 hours to earn the Platinum trophy, and it's probably about a five out of 10. There's one trophy in particular that makes this very difficult, and that's for finishing the game without your shell, which is basically like you play as the slimy little Promethean guy the whole game, and then he collects shells, which buff him up and give him additional powers and buffs and protection and you have to play the entirety of the game without collecting the shells the entire game is built around the shells so this is kind of counterintuitive to the main mechanic in the game and it does make things slightly more challenging for sure uh it still though is a phenomenal game and i do have a trophy guide and roadmap in the works for this one as well that should be up on the channel this coming friday august would not be complete without including cuphead on this list uh Cuphead was a phenomenon when it came on the Xbox One a number of years ago and it's finally on PlayStation 4 just as difficult as it was on the Xbox with the same trophy list to boot. This is a 9 out of 10 difficulty and it takes pure skill I would say to earn this platinum trophy. So if you have this one on your list already or you're planning on going for this one then more power to you absolutely because this is a super challenging platinum trophy to earn. It's going to take you around 35 hours. Cuphead is essentially a 2D boss rush style. I don't even even know what kind of game it is a 2d side scroller boss rush style game do you call it bullet hell i don't even know it's 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 uh it's a really amazing looking game and an amazing experience and unfortunately my skill level at my age just does not compute with this game anymore and i have no chance of ever getting this platinum trophy but like i said power to you if you've gone for it and you've done it as well it, it, it's a contender for one of the hardest platinum trophies on the system and it definitely competes with fall guys in terms of most difficult platinums this month but for different reasons this one's a pure skill one whereas full guys is more a lot of luck i would say now two slightly easier games that came out this month the first being samurai jack this is a, a the 3d hack and slash game based on the samurai jack cartoon network cartoon series i didn't even realize this series was still running until i played this game or saw the trailer for this game and it's amazing i used to watch this when i was a little kid growing up and it's awesome to be able to revisit some of those memories and play this. But this game plays super, super well. It's got a really deep combat system. It's got an upgrade system to it. The cutscenes run really well. The game runs at a really good pace. The boss battles are fun. The combat is fun. It's, it's not Ghost of Tsushima in terms of samurai style game. 
but it's actually a really, really decent hack and slash samurai game. Think like a really, really polished Platinum Games game, and that's kind of where you're at in terms of Samurai Jack. Now, trophy-wise, it's about a 4 out of 10 in terms of difficulty, and it's going to take you about 20 to 25 hours to earn the Platinum Trophy. There are a set of trophies for finishing the game on hard mode, which requires you to play through the entire game on a lower tier mode to unlock it, which is frustrating because it requires two entire playthroughs then, and the hard mode is very challenging as well. Uh, but the game is great. It's absolutely worth checking out. If you have any interest in these hack and slash platinum style games or Musou style games, or any interest in Samurai Jack or mascot platformer style games, then this is absolutely a must play for you. And the last game on the list is Super Lucky's Tale. This is a game that has been just floating around for years. It came out in VR, then Xbox, then last year on Nintendo Switch. Now this year on PlayStation 4. It's a really cool mascot platformer where you play as Lucky, uh, this, this little fox guy, and essentially think of like a Mario 64 mixed with like a 2D platformer as well, and it has like a combination of both of these things. I guess the Super Lucky is kind of a take on Super Mario perhaps. It's, it's a neat little platformer. Trophy wise, it's not very hard. It's about a 3 out of 10. It's going to take you about 10 hours. Tons of collectibles to earn and collect. And if you're into mascot platformers like I am, then you're going to love this game. It's a phenomenal experience if you're into those style games or you're still like stuck in the mid 90s and, and obsessed with these kind of games. But yeah, that is five of the best platinum trophies that you could have earned for the month of August 2020. Let me know which ones of these you guys have earned already. Let me know if you're going for any of these games in particular and they're giving you trouble. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been playing Fall Guys and perhaps that's been giving you a bit of trouble as well. I haven't even got a win in Fall Guys, so I'm, I've got no chance of ever getting that infallible trophy. But hey, maybe one day when they add some sort of offline mode in, I'll have more luck at getting the Platinum Trophy then, perhaps. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm curious to hear your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you want to see the easiest Platinum Trophies that came out for the month of August 2020, then there's another video up here that you can click on. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Have a great evening, folks.